This morning we have two incredible actors who are coming together on screen. For years, Benedict Cumberbatch played Sherlock Holmes before putting his powers on display as Doctor Strange in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Claire Foy took home multiple Emmys for her portrayal of Queen Elizabeth in the hit Netflix series, The Crown. Well, now they are both starring in the new film, The Electrical Life of, of Louis Wayne. It's about the eccentric British artist who became famous for his unusual paintings of cats. Benedict portrays Louis, Claire playing his wife, but their relationship wasn't exactly love at first sight. Uh, good evening. No. What? Go away, go away. Yes, what? Why? What, what do you mean, why? Well, I don't, yes, of course, yes, sorry. What are you doing, Mr. Wayne? What do you want me to, I don't Get understand. Out. Oh, yes, sorry, right, yes, of course, sorry, I apologize. I am under your employ, Mr. Wayne, but do not expect to have to tolerate you barging in here after hours while I'm, well, it doesn't matter what I was doing, does it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Benedict Clare, thanks for joining us. Good morning. Good morning. 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 Uh, this is just such a terrific film about such a, a, a well, a, an eccentric artist, uh, but somebody who has touched a lot of lives. Benedict, were you a, a, a aware of Louis Wayne before you took the role? No, embarrassingly, I wasn't. I mean, I really did come to this cold, and when I read the script, I was just so blown away by the extraordinary uh, endurance of the man, this sort of quiet hero in a very busy Victorian era, somebody who found living on this planet quite difficult. He was quite odd. He suffered uh, from certain mental health issues throughout his life, and he produced this huge amount of art. But at the heart of it all, his love affair of cats and his love of Emily, this incredible partner who he meets through being his uh, his sister's governess, a woman 10 years older than him, uh, both scandalous things, but they fell in love and they, they married for love. Mm. And I was just intrigued by, by that story and where it took him and his incredible life out thereafter. And Claire, is it true that, that you got involved in sort of an unusual way that Mr. Cumberbatch here just called you up and said, like, hey, uh, Claire, I'm, I'm doing this weird film. You want to you 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 do it with me? Is that how it happened? Basically, um, <laughs> Benedict sent me a text because it was very late on and I think somebody else was supposed to be doing it. So lucky for me that they didn't end up doing it. Um, and he said, no, it never happened. No one else was doing it. Um, and he just said, look, we're in a real situation. We need someone to step in. I'd love you to do it. Um, and then I talked to Will Sharp, the director, who's a genius. And, uh, yeah, I signed up pretty much straight away. It was such a lovely, lovely project. Well, it worked out. Benedict, one of the things Louis was known for, which I think is so cool, I'm intrigued by him, too, in his life, but his ability yeah. to draw with both hands simultaneously. And I learned that, or I heard that you learned to do that. I did, uh, with a lot of help from an amazing art department. That's and amazing. Only for very, very brief snippets. But um, that was one of his, it wasn't even the party trick. He was just so fast yeah. that he had to use both of his hands, and he could. And he was incredibly skilled as a draftsman, as an observational drawer, but also later on in his life, this incredible amount of patination and electrified kind of work started to appear in the color and the form of color. And with that, he he used both hands and he sort of sculpted the paint in symmetrical patterns like a kaleidoscope around the cats mm. their eyes and um yeah he found a lot of fame in the, in the sort of occult uh psychedelic era of the 60s mm. and 70s again way after his death because of those um, bright vivid patinations but yes I learned eventually to do it a little bit with, uh, with both hands. It's quite true. Oh. <laughs> and, and Claire, they say, never work with small kids or small animals. And yet <laughs> you have a co-star who's a cat. Uh, what was, are, are you a cat person? Um, I don't seek them out. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> sounds like, sounds you know, like a no. <laughs> <laughs> but I admire them from a distance. Oh, yeah. They were very close in this in this film. But I mean, I loved. I had a wonderful experience working with the cats. I loved them, and they. But Benedict, I think Claire got kittens. Doesn't that's why Claire, Claire got the ones that play with balls of wool and lick from sources of milk, and they're very sweet. But anything older than a kitten, that is your entire day waiting for a cat just to cross a room. Oh, that's hey, 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 Benedict. Before we let you guys go, we we have to ask about Doctor Strange too. Uh, what can you tell us about the film? 
Uh, very excited. Sam Remy's at the helm, so expect extraordinary things. And uh, yeah, we're in the middle of making it even better. We've got some reshoots coming up in November and December, and Ooh. then it comes out in May. And I guess you'll have to wait until then. That's how we're going to get it. That's, that's a how, good tease. That's how we're getting. I'll take it, Claire. That's congratulations, by the way, and your Emmy win for the Crown. Did you? Ex I, I don't want to say. Did you expect to win for that? You know how much we all love you. <laughs> No, I, I didn't expect to win. Uh, it was a bit of a shock, but lo so lovely. It just was such a lovely kind of memory of the show and that people still like it. And, absolutely. Um, oh, and love it. I love it. it. Really wow. said like, love. Yeah, absolutely. Where do you keep the statuette? Where do you keep your... I haven't got it yet. Oh. I presume it's in customs somewhere. Um, <laughs> it's in a shipping when I, container. When I get it, it'll be on my bedside table. Oh, I feel, like, I feel like someone should get Claire Foy her Emmy. <laughs> like she wins yeah, an Emmy. Walk it over. <laughs> what the should they send that express? Cool. Well, maybe. Claire, thank you so much. Benedict, thank you also so much. Uh, the Electrical Life of Louis Wayne in select theaters now, then streaming November 4th on Amazon Prime and Benedict on the spare time. Maybe another uh, episode of Sherlock Holmes, if you, <laughs> if you please. We're, we're all waiting for that. <laughs> Good times. Thank you, guys. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.